Uh, but let's go ahead and start first with an article from PCWorld.com. Microsoft wants to ditch HDD boot drives. A new report says Microsoft will require solid-state boot drives for new laptops and desktops starting next year. That's pretty soon. Why would you want to make a move like that? Like, what is it a security reason? Well, so it's really an experience reason. I don't know if you guys remember the first time you got a computer that booted off of an SSD, which you know for me was many years ago now, probably eight or nine years ago, quite some time. But when you switch from booting off of a spinning disk where your boot time was 45 seconds, a minute, you know, depending on, on what all you had running, to today where you boot off an SSD and you boot in like 15 seconds, it's night and day. It's a huge difference. And so you really have two different groups of people having two completely different experiences when they use something like Windows or Mac OS or whatever. So it makes sense that at some point, you need to draw the line and say, look, spinning disks are fine for storage, but let's stop booting off of them. Things like having your computer hibernate and then wake up quickly from hibernation really relies on SSD to get that speed. Otherwise, you're having to write gigs of memory from spinning disk back into RAM, and that takes forever. So it's just not a good experience. More and more people are using laptops over desktops, and that's really driving this forward. Now, if Microsoft was making this announcement five years ago, I'd say it's kind of iffy. But today, I I think if you go and buy, like if you just go to Best Buy and look at the, the laptops and stuff that are on display, almost all of them have an SSD for their boot disk anyway. The pricing on that has come down significantly. So I don't think it's that big of a deal in the general scheme of things. And it, it really just shows that it, it, it's time to move to an SSD if you haven't already. When you say an SSD for the boot disk, would you have a separate one than for your your hard drive or the computer? If saying? you chose to, right? So, um, you know, for example, my my son's computer. When I got him one, I knew he was going to install a bunch of video games. He'd need a bunch of storage, right? So we did, if I remember right, I did like a 256 gig NVMe disk for his boot disk, and then a two terabyte spinning disk for him to install games on. Well, I ended up being kind of a uh, double-edged sword, I guess, because he had a lot of storage, but it was slow storage. And so eventually we had to replace that. We didn't have to, but we did replace it with an SSD, so it would be a little bit faster. But if you've got tons of like archive storage or just videos, things that you don't really need high-speed storage for, you can still really max out your capacity with SSD. I mean, sorry, with HDDs, with spinning disks, and not have to spend the SSD dollars. So... Um, uh, Daniel, you've got like a media server. Is your media server still spinning disks? You or know, I, w- I want to say that that media server is spinning. I mean, definitely the um, the attached storage is spinning disk. Um, I I'm, I want to say that the internal storage is also spinning disk. It's like a 2012 Mac Mini, mm-hmm. so probably a spinning disk in there. What's interesting though is like I have two laptops. I, I have a laptop that I've had for years. It's like 10 years old. It sits at my desk. I use it for, oh, I need to look something up or just random things. You know, it's running a uh, 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 Linux operating system. So, and from time to time, I will, I will judge its performance based on boots ba- uh, against my Lenovo, which is only maybe two years old with an NVMe, and it beats it in boot. It beats it decrypting the disk, and it beats it in boot. Of the operating system. Interesting. Yeah. That's why I'm like, well, I don't have the same experience of what they're talking about here. I'm actually getting a faster boot time with my spinning disk than I am for my MVME. And they're both encrypted. So they both have to get, do de-encryption. And then like the time it takes for me to get booted and logged in to my spinning disk drive, which is 10 years old versus my two-year-old NVMe is probably around 30 seconds faster. Really? Yeah. See, I would say that probably indicates there's something wrong with your NVMe, or it's in some your legacy mode maybe, or whatever. Maybe, who knows? Yeah, yeah. It, it shouldn't be. It should be like right. order it should be of like magnitude different. Crazy fast, right? Yeah. yeah. So back to this use case, would this only apply to Windows 11, like the current version and, and moving forward, basically? Yeah, yeah, that, that's their their idea. And and since they're introducing this after Windows 11 came out, I'll be curious to see if they if they actually restrict that, because I, I, I can't see them doing that. So it'll probably be whatever the next major version of Windows is before we really see them limit things down. Interesting. Hmm. All right, well, we'll keep an eye on that as the uh, the countdown to when that takes place takes place (laughs) if you enjoyed that segment be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here and you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the it world be sure to tune in every thursday for new episodes i hope to see you there